This way for that. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Are you tired of wrestling with your crazy collapsible green screen or having to do with all sorts of crazy equipment to set up a green screen for streaming? Well, I just picked up this little ditty and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. Hey, how's it going? Kyle here helping you level up your photo, video, and music. And if you're into any of those things like I am, definitely go ahead and click the subscribe button, maybe even the bell icon somewhere on the screen, somewhere on the screen, so you can keep track of what I am up to. So what I wanna tell you about today is this new Elgato green screen that I just picked up. I've been wrestling with that green screen you saw at the top of the video, and it's been working pretty well for the price. I think it was probably around 30 or $40. It definitely works. I'm able to uh, set it up and tear it down more or less whenever I wanna go ahead and stream. And you know, as far as the quality of the video, it's, it, it's pretty good, but it's not the best. Uh, every once in a while I'll have to adjust little things to try and make it right. And when the lighting changes around my apartment, which you can see behind me, I'm, I have my computers and they're right next to some windows it can be pretty difficult to keep it consistent throughout an entire stream. I also noticed because it collapses into like this little sort of circular thing and I definitely don't put it perfectly uh, how it's supposed to collapse, it definitely has some pretty significant bends in it and so it doesn't sit flush and so one side is definitely more exposed to light than the other and sometimes I have to wiggle it around and it's it just never perfect. And while I'm not necessarily a, a serious streamer, I'm kind of a stickler for video stuff and I wanted to improve the quality at least of the video on my stream. And even beyond the, the quality of the video, I wanted it to be convenient because it's really a pill to set up that darn thing. Uh, I have to have a light stand with a special little clamp on top and I, have, I can't really navigate around my apartment. And on top of that, my apartment is small. I live in San Francisco and I live in a one bedroom. My bedroom is over in that back corner. Um, and what I have is this little living room and kitchen right over here that you, Greg, you can't see. I have my computer's in the back side right there. And uh, you might even notice I have a little bar that has uh, some, some seamless paper and a light on top. And that's kind of where I stream. So yeah, I was looking for something quicker to set up and higher quality than what I was already using. Now you're probably thinking, okay Kyle, yeah, totally unique. You want something that's faster to set up and simpler to use and higher quality. Don't we all? Well, this uh, came up to my Amazon homepage and I couldn't help but research it and it was sitting in my wish list for a really long time and finally, maybe a, a week or two ago, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. When I actually was able to get it into my apartment, I went ahead and filmed a little unboxing of it and my, kind of my first impressions uh, and I was actually pretty blown away with how, how sturdy the darn thing is. Uh, it's essentially all metal construction with uh, a couple different plastic elements. I'm going to tell you all about the construction of it shortly. But right now, let's go ahead and zoom over to the unboxing. Uh, hi there. I am re recording this at a, another time than probably the rest of the video that you're watching. But uh, as you can see here, I uh, just received my uh, new Elgato uh, green screen. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Bing. Simple. Oh, even more simpler. It just freaking peels right out of its skin. How about that? So, a little bit note of note on the packaging. Uh, it came with these little uh, side ridges here to protect the corners and these little plastic straps to uh, keep it shut. And that was actually it. Everything else, as soon as that was off, it just freaking opened up. But. It looks like uh, it was able to transport just fine. However, I am noticing this appears to have busted off of that right there. So I'm hoping that uh, the UPS transit uh, wasn't an issue. Looks like we have uh, some documentation that I'm never gonna read. Uh, so right out the gate, uh, this is metal on the outside. It seems uh, gosh darn rigid. It, it seems pretty heavy. I'm just gonna guess it's like 15 pounds or something like that. Uh, appears to have all metal hardware. I'm going to kind of pick this up, spin the leg 90 degrees. Let's open it up. 
Raise, retract, and raise it. And this thing is immediately taller than me. Let's go ahead and take a step back here so you can see how it sits in my in my space. You see I got a little coffee table, my entertainment system is right here, and guitars in my window. I'm fairly certain that it's gonna cover me laterally on either side. I'm not gonna have to uh, worry about not having enough space on both sides. And it's definitely tall. That's really great. Let's actually go on the other side and see what we're working with. Like, what's it look like on the back hand, the back side? All right, we got some accordion style uh, arms. I mean, you can see those pictures online, but uh, it's super smooth, super duper smooth. I'm, I mean, I know this thing is brand new, but as I move it, you can kind of look down here. Super smooth. If I kind of push it back and forth, it's it's not going anywhere. Those legs seem to do the trick. Boom, perfect, I can't wait to use this live. All righty. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that. Now I wanna show you how fast and easy it is to set it up in my exact workflow, okay? Here we go. In time. Yeah, it's pretty darn easy. Now, let's uh, pull it up so you guys can actually see it. It's taller than me. So as you can see, the thing stands around six foot four inches tall. I'm six feet, and uh, even when I stand right up against it, you know, it covers my entire body. Not that I really care about that because I'm basically sitting down in a chair uh, right in front of it. And it actually has some tension rods in the back, which you should have already seen in the unboxing video, that even when you decide you only want it yay high, it will stay put. And I'm not sure exactly, let's see when it'll actually fall down. Okay, so there is, <laughs> there, there is a height that it, uh, it can't stand up on its own. Now let's try to get in and look at the actual material because after all, it might be an interesting contraption to hold a, a green screen, but you know, what is the quality of the actual material of the screen? Okay, so we're recording now. And I'm gonna go ahead and get down, kind of show you what this base looks like. As you can see, it's pretty low to the earth. You can see my ugly carpet, uh, but it has two uh, horizontal struts that uh, are gonna be able to keep it from tipping over from one side, because once it gets pretty high up there, uh, it can be pretty top heavy. Now, all of this is metal. This is, a, this is actually plastic right here uh, on, the, on, on the legs, but the actual con uh, construction is all metal, metal hardware. Let's actually go in as close as we can on this material. Now, I'm hoping that it's coming through, but uh, what's actually there, it's definitely a fabric, uh, it does have a, a slight texture to it. I'm hoping that's able to come through. And what's great about it is that because it's in a roll up uh, down here, you can see that here's the roll. And if I lower it, it all goes under tension into that, into that little roll. There's no wrinkles. It keeps uh, wrinkles out of this as best as it can. Above in my apartment, I have some lights set up because I use this uh, my little space here for filming YouTube videos. Now let's go ahead and stand back and let's see how evenly the light is absorbed by by that green screen. And it's actually pretty pretty great. Now this is probably the best uh, that it can be, uh, you know, exposed. These 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 lights right here, you know, they're in perfect position to be uh, lighting up this green screen. But there's very few hot spots that you, you would notice if there was any wrinkles or, or kind of issues with the actual screen. And when you're done, just go ahead, push this all the way down, close, and 
lock. There's two locks on it. And then, you know, shove it underneath your couch right there. As far as this metal case is concerned, it is super duper sturdy. And one of the things I noticed when I unbox it, if I pick it up and, and shake it around, you hear something going on in there. But it's really hard to explain as I'm holding it in my hand. I don't feel like anything's really moving around. Just take my word for it. This thing is built super duper solid. And on top of everything, there's a nice little handle right here for carrying it around. So if you're looking at this, you probably have already seen some of the technical specs, but I'm gonna go ahead and flash some of those technical specs up on the screen right now. So in case you haven't seen those, you can see them in black and white. So what are my thoughts on the Elgato green screen? Well, I, I, re I really, really like it. I mean, uh, most of the videos that I've done, uh, product reviews on my channel are things that I already own and like. So if it seems like I keep talking about stuff that I like, well, yeah, so be it. This is certainly a premium product. You do pay a premium price for it. It's about $160 US. I purchased mine off of Amazon with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, this thing definitely sat in my Amazon wish list for a good long while, and I'm definitely happy that I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. I really got a lot of use out of my old collapsible green slash blue screen, but now I'll probably donate it to one of the other streamers in my small streamer community. If you have a question about the Elgato green screen, definitely leave it in the comment section down below and I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. And if you decide to pick one of these up, definitely consider using the links in the description down below. Those are affiliate links and it definitely helps me and my channel out if you decide to use them. No extra cost to you. And lastly, if this video was helpful to you, definitely let me know by clicking that thumbs up button and if not, well, yeah. You can do the other one, uh, but if you do, let me know what I can do better in the future in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers. This way for that. <laughs>